Hi, curl friends. Naturally Rhonda here for all my old time subscribers. I love you, love you so much. Thank you for coming back to watch my videos. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, please stay a while. Check out some of my other content. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that link down below and subscribe. So in today's video, I'm trying another flexi rod set on my natural hair. Some of you may know I tried a flexi rod set a few weeks ago and it was a fail. It was an epic fail. Okay. Okay. First one's not looking bad. All of the flexi rods are out and this is what it's looking like. As you can see, this didn't curl, it didn't dry enough. And um, that was a fail. So I think part of the issue with my last flexi rod set is that the rods that I was using were too short for the technique that I was trying to do. So the ones, my old ones are seven inches long and these ones that I just purchased are 9.4 inches long. So hopefully the almost two and a half inches will work out for me also i didn't let them dry long enough i thought leaving them in overnight would be good enough but clearly it wasn't so i'm gonna leave these in much longer and i am using longer rods enough rambling let's get into it my hair is already shampooed conditioned deep conditioned and detangled the shampoo and conditioner that i used was the same exact shampoo and conditioner from my most recent wash day video if you haven't seen that i will link that up above check that one out so again i have my hair sectioned in fours like i did in my previous video i got the idea to do my flexi rods like this from another youtuber again i will leave her channel name down below here she only used eight flexi rods for her whole head, eight. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I have six of these, and I'm thinking I'm gonna end up using two of these in the front. I'm also using a different product this time. I'm using the Diva Curl Super Cream Rich Coconut Infused Definer. This came in the October 2021 curl box. It was the Alta curl box. If you haven't seen that unboxing, I will also link that one. There was a lot of good products in there. So I'm splitting this first quarter in half. And I'm just gonna pin this out of the way. It's still pretty damp because I just got out of the shower. This is my first time using this or actually any product from Diva Curl. I have two more products from Diva Curl that I'm really excited to try. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I was expecting it to be like a foam, but it's creamy. Let's see. I did, I think like two pumps. It says super cream, duh. I'm going in with two more pumps. Okay, then I split this in half. Detangle one last time. Okay, so we're gonna fold our flexi rods like a horseshoe. Okay. Then you take it, hold this firm, and then we're just wrapping around. And then where it stops, you just fold it in. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. You tangle in it one last time and then fold it up where I closed it and push them together like that. Do y'all like Diva Curl? Like I said, this is my first time using any products from them. I All right, so as you can see, I have two flexi rods in and it's definitely working better with the longer rods.
so these are my first three flexi rods in so far so good oh wait i'm almost halfway done <laughs> yes okay so i'm gonna keep going with this and i will be back when it's time to unroll them all right y'all so first of all i wasn't even sure if i was gonna film taking down the um flexi rods because Quite frankly, I didn't know if it was going to be another fail, but um, I mean, the first two seem to be decent. This isn't great. The ends right here. I will not be defeated by flexi rods. No matter how this comes out, I will be doing another flexi rod video. So <laughs> I mean, flexi rod sets are so cute. I, I can do this. I know I can do this. Do y'all struggle with flexi rod sets like I am? If so, know that you are not alone. Okay. I'm going through the struggle too. If you try this technique, don't do what I did right here. Don't do, you see, I don't know if the camera is even picking this up, but this one, one side is rolled one way, the other side is rolled the other way. Mm. So, this is going to be an interesting takedown for this. This is the way, this one right here, this is the way they're supposed to be rolled and the takedown is supposed to be this simple. You see, boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Okay, I'm getting some bounce back. Okay. Remember, I only used eight flexi rods. Today's Thursday and I did this on Monday. I just put this bonnet over the flexi rods and I slept with them in my hair. Was that Monday night, Tuesday night and Wednesday night? not the best things to sleep in especially the way these were situated in my head but you know do what you gotta do another one that i can tell i'm not in love with the ends with next time i'm gonna do it differently i'm actually going to start at the ends so that way i know that the ends are smooth i like the idea of only using eight it takes a lot less time to roll your hair and i mean who doesn't love that but i wonder if there's a way that i can do that but just the other way around where the ends oh okay this one i actually redid um i think yesterday afternoon or the day before that because i could feel that the ends just weren't looking the way i wanted them to but so far before separating it it looks like I can work with this. To separate, I'm gonna do the same thing that I always do to separate my hair, whether it be twists, braids, whatever. Get some oil. This is one of my favorite oils and I'm almost done with it. I'm really sad about that. I need to order some more. This is from um, Guy's Hands. This is Deli's hair oil. I have a video talking about this oil. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up above. Listen, it's not perfect but it's definitely given what it was supposed to give. Yes, look at this, look at it. Oh, I am feeling this. I am feeling myself. Look at that bounce. Oh, yes, girl. Full disclosure, I was very intimidated by flexi rod sets and perm rod sets and all of those things because I felt like I have all of this hair. It's gonna take forever to do. It's gonna take forever to dry. Next time though, I'm gonna try drying it under a hooded dryer. Like you don't have to sleep in them if you have a hooded dryer at home. That's about it for this flexi rod redo video. This is the moment in the video where I like to point your attention to some of my other content, like my first flexi rod video, but on straight hair. I love you for watching y'all. Please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.